Please take your hat off. Hats off. Thank you. About all the recording devices. It's not a live stream. No recording devices. All right. All right, Mr. Lanto, can you come on up? Hello. Hello. This is the city of Taylor versus Joshua Lanto. You're at this table, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Greco, can I get your appearance? Yes, Your Honor. David Greco here on behalf of the city of Taylor. <laughs> Mr. Lanto, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Joshua Lanto. Okay, thank you. All right, so today is the time and date we had set for a trial. Mr. Greco? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, as you are aware, this case was apparently transferred to you within the last month or so, I believe. I've been the prosecutor handling this case. Uh, I was aware of the transfer, but was not aware of the jury trial date scheduled for today. It had gotten assigned to the other prosecutor, Mr. Zick. I was not aware of this until late last week, was not able to get everything together uh, to contact my witnesses and, as, and, and let the court staff know earlier in the week that well, then I, won't that we I would not be... Hey. It's so you'll get a chance to respond, so I'm, wait for your turn. So I'm requesting an adjournment, as I honestly did not know in time. I knew of the transfer, but did not know of the date scheduled until I was contacted by the other prosecutor last week. Uh, and then, as you know, I contacted the court staff, letting you know that I would be the one holding on to the case and that there was no way for me to appear today or the witnesses. All right. Thank you, Mr. Greco. Mr. Lanto? I've been here about 10 times now. I asked at the very first proceeding if I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing. Do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing? I am not going to play games with you, sir. Do you need to make a motion? Is there something you want to tell me? I just want to, I have a simple question for clarification. Very simple. Question. I'm not Do answering right? your questions. I am here to conduct a jury trial today. Me the too. prosecutor has requested an adjournment. And I am asking you what your response to his request is. Okay, well, it seems like you're getting really angry. Oh, I'm know. not. I'm being stern with you because well, I'm asking you, sir, if you cannot answer my question, do you have a response to that? Do I have a response to what he just said? I just want to know if I have the, but to, in order to respond to that, what I need to know is do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing? That's it. Well, do you want an attorney that can advise you of your constitutional no, I, rights? I want to know from you because you are presiding over this matter. Sir. No, sir. Sir. I can't come in here and watch a trial. There is no trial, sir. Oh, I'm with you. I'm calling on court. Really? I'm calling on Yep. Really? I mean, you know we're on YouTube, right? Oh, I do. Right. So Why I'm asking you. Very meaningful hearing. Sir. You are in my courtroom because there is an allegation against you I, uh, that okay. you threatened the other judge in this building. Then why am I not charged? I, that's not, I, sir, I'm not a charging official. No, I'm a judge. Not, you Do you want to be held in yeah. contempt of court today? Well, Mr. No, you're, Greco, your motion is granted. The trial will be adjourned. This trial was put on a fast track when it was transferred to me what does that mean? so that we could address this and have so that Mr. Lanto could have his date in court forthwith. I understand that I do not have the same prosecutor as Judge Slavin. And obviously on a case like this, with a history like this, Mr. Uh, Greco wants to stay on the case and that's appropriate. He was not given notice because the notice Why went to Mr. Notice? Zick, my courtroom prosecutor, sir. So who that is why. that? That's all I'm asking. Sir, it was a clerical oh, error. A anything. clerical error. Okay, your motion's granted, Mr. Greco. We will get you a new trial date, sir. And I'm going to let them know downstairs that that trial date continues. Uh, we'll need to be fast-tracked so that we can get you on the docket as soon as possible. I want to get this resolved today. Okay. I want to get I, this resolved. And, and I have a few questions about the charging document that I was given. Okay. Can, I, can, I, can I ask about that without being threatened? You can. Content? 
Sir, you can speak with an attorney. You have a right to. I don't want to speak with an attorney. If you want to address these matters on your trial date, I am more than happy to address your concerns. But this is not going to be a circus. This is not going to be the Joshua Lanto show. This is going to be a jury trial that is conducted with proper courtroom decorum and behavior. And that is how we will be moving forward. If you are respectful to me, we will get through this very quickly and efficiently. But I will not tolerate outlandish behavior in the courtroom. I will not. Well, and I don't know anything about you, Mr. Lanto. Right, nothing. Right. You don't know anything I about don't me. Let the record I have show them every that. indication. Um, I have every inclination, and I have uh, no reason to believe that I cannot be fair and impartial on this case. I have no reason to believe that. And we will conduct that trial, um, but we will yeah. have proper courtroom decorum throughout these proceedings. You have a constitutional right to an attorney. And it, it's my understanding at previous hearings that you have um, waived your right to counsel, that you want to represent yourself. And that is um, within your rights, sir. Okay. But you will do it if you're going to represent yourself. The same rules will apply to you that would apply to any other attorney you that appeared in front of me. You are the chief judge, correct? Correct. Okay, so it appears to me like you're getting very angry and let the record show the only one that's been given threats here is me. You've threatened me with contempt already. Okay. Right? And you okay. expect me to uh, expect you to be fair and impartial? Okay. I mean, you're not going to be able to use anything else? Okay. Guys okay. That I've done anything wrong. You have a sign outside your door that says due to COVID, you're you're willing to put six jurors in a box with COVID. Uh, you have a sign out there that says COVID is dangerous. You're going to put everybody in danger because you, you don't like free speech here in Taylor. Okay. Okay. All right. We're all set. This hearing's concluded. Sir, you'll get notice of that trial date in the mail. Is I it, will let them know downstairs to expedite this. And I'm optimistic that we can get you a trial date uh, in February. Could you please answer my question? Because I think it's a very basic logic. All right. Opinion. We're all very set. Thank you. We're all set, sir. Thank you. All right, this is the uh, People versus Aaron Kaminsky, 22C019388. Mr. Kaminsky, can you come on up? Paragraphs of information. Okay, so uh, Mr. Kaminsky, you're here today because there's an allegation that you tested positive for codeine on a drug test at the Guidance Center on December 26th of 2023. Yes. You're aware of that? Yeah. And did you go over this two-page advice of rights form? Uh, yes. Okay. Did you understand it? Yes. Sir. And did you sign and date it? Yes. Aaron, you know you have a right to an attorney if you want an attorney? Yes, sir. Do you want a lawyer? No. Okay. You understand you have a right to a hearing where the probation department or the prosecutor would have to show by a preponderance of the evidence that the allegation um, occurred? Yes. Sir. And that's like 51%? Okay. Are you waiving your right to that hearing? Yeah. How do you plead the allegation that you tested positive for coding at the uh, guidance center on December 26th? Guilty. Do you know what? I I'm, I'm going to accept the plea. Do you know what you took? I don't know if I ate something because I know I went to a Christmas dinner and I don't know. The only thing I think it would be like poppy seeds, but I don't know. I'm That's not going to show up for coding. Right, yeah, and this was already confirmed by the lab. The way they do their tests there is that they send them out for confirmation before we even get notified. That's why I'm not sure. because I didn't Could have been cold medicine. I, I mean, I did take cold medicine, but I don't know if it... If you're going to take something over the counter... Aaron, I'm finding sure, you guilty. No. You're going to write an essay on how you are maintaining your sobriety in phase three and the importance of checking the contents of what you consume. Okay. That's what you're going to do. But if you're going to take something like that, because listen, you've had... I can't... I don't remember the last time I saw you up here. Right. Like you're, you've been pretty smooth sailing. So um, I'm not so concerned that you're surreptitiously using these substances. I'm more concerned that <laughs> you're getting lax and you're taking something without making sure it's not something yeah, it it's transferred. not something you're supposed to take. Something you're not supposed to take. Right. You understand that? Yeah. I'm just going to be more cautious. All right. Yeah. Just be more cautious. 
or call Kara, okay. you know, or look in your handbook because a lot of cold medications or have something in them that might affect testing results. Right. And all you got to do is let her know. And they're like, you know, I mean, sometimes you have to take something, but if you're clear it ahead of time, then you don't get, you don't get brought in here. Right. Okay. okay. All right. We're all set. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.